Hello, I'm with the Yokogawa Corporation of America. And in this tutorial, we are going to be reading a process variable from an Ethernet device using Mugplus networking. First, I'm going to note the IP address of the device I'll be connecting to, which is this UTA right here. This IP address is 80511. And then I have this connected by an Ethernet cable to the GX unit. And so now we'll connect this. So we'll press the menu button, go to the Browse tab, and select Setting. From here, go into Communication Ethernet Settings. Go into Basic Settings and type in the IP. So I'll do 80, 50, 1, and 2. I'll set the subnet mask, and then we'll save that. Next, we're going to go back, go into Modbus Client Settings, Basic Settings, and we'll turn this on. We can leave all these settings the same. Go into Modbus Server Settings, and the server name is going to be the IP address of our UT5055. Port number can stay the same. We'll save this. And command settings, we'll turn this on to read. And I've already pre-entered these. Um, this will be dependent on your device. But to read this process variable, this is the register for my device. And that'll be going to communication channel one. So we'll save this. And now we'll enter communication channel settings. We're actually going to server settings. Server function, and allow my address clients, and make sure that channel one is on and the IP address is entered. Now go into communication channel settings and make sure channel one is on. We're going to only have this set as one decimal point because it's only transmitting one decimal point, and we'll save that. That'll also be dependent on your device. And go back, and now we'll set this as a recording channel. So go into recording settings, recording channel settings, and communication channel. We'll set it here, and we'll select it here. Now this is done, go into your display and make sure that you have a group for it. I have group six already selected with communication channel one, so make sure that you can see that value. So now we'll go back to the main menu. We'll start recording so we can see our process data and go into group six. Here, you can see that it's 260, just like the process variable.